And what's your expectation of what we will see um, as we approach kickoff of this game coming up on Thursday night, tomorrow night? Well, sometimes we have these games, uh, usually they're, it's either a quarterback injury or like a tremendous mismatch. And in those games, we always kind of ask the question of like, where's the bottom? And what we what we mean by that is, and another way to put that is like, where's the resistance going to be? So like, you can say, oh, like, I can't believe the, you know, the Eagles were 13. It's like, oh, I went to 13 and a half. Oh, I went to 14. And everybody's like, oh man, I can't believe that. And it's like, okay, well, can you not believe it? And like, if not, would you ever step into bet the opposite side? And usually if you ask those same people that question, it would be like, well, no. No, I don't want to step into the opposite side and be like, well, welcome to how the betting market for this game is forming right now. Who wants to step in and bet the opposite side? People are interested in the Eagles. They're registering their opinion in the market. Will anyone come back and register an opinion on the Houston Texans? I don't think that's I don't think that opinion's been registered once so far this week. They're like any line move towards to. Houston whatsoever. Like I just you know, we haven't seen it yet. So again, is if as people continue liking the Eagles and betting the Eagles and that continuing to move the market, will anyone step in with influence and say like, no, actually now I like Houston now that it's at this number. You would kind of guess 14 and a half is going to be a pretty key number in these blowout situations, mid to low 40s total. You get the key number of 14 in that situation. So if we got to 14 and a half, what would happen? That would be pretty interesting. But like there are four teams in places with good limits right now and they ain't moving. <laughs> so like it, it, it isn't yet. This isn't the resistance point. Um, I, I guess 14 and a half maybe would draw interest from Houston, but we haven't gotten there yet. So I don't know the answer. And, uh, and I don't know if we're going to get there, but I think it's possible. Because again, just like, when would you ever step in to play the opposite side? I don't even know when I would step in and play Houston in the game. Usually I have a really good frame of reference for like this number. I have to start being in this half. team. I guess 14 and a half, but like, I don't. I'm going to take 14, Houston's, I think, Ken, if that's the number. Houston tomorrow. is so unlikable in like most situations. And this is another one of them. And they're, it's, I get it. Like, I get why, oh, like 14 and a half. I, I guess you would have to take it just based on the closing point spreads with the two teams so far. But let's keep in mind, the Eagles are also like blitzing through their point spreads in a lot of these projected games where like, kind of like Tennessee in college football, actually, 